The first Trafalgar Law Sugo Fest exclusive character debuted on One Piece Treasure Cruise Global in the Thanksgiving Sugo Fest on the 23rd of November 2016. Law originally debuted on Japan during their second anniversary Sugo Fest, which shows just how fast Global had been releasing Legends at the time. This Sugo Fest exclusive character aimed to significantly buff the Slasher and Free Spirit classes, hosting a powerful Captain effect that would heavily increase in multiplier for every perfect that you had achieved. His special ability introduced a new mechanic into the game allowing your damage dealing effects to bypass enemy defensive effects which allowed teams to perform the unthinkable against pesky enemies. Introducing Trafalgar Law, Warlord of the Sea. In this series, we'll be traveling back in time to experience some of the older Sugo Fest exclusive characters in their prime, aiming to show just what it was like to use these characters on their debut. I hope you enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's enter the Legends of OPTC. And we are back with another episode of the Legends of OBTC series. Thank you very much for watching. And in today's video, we're covering a character that only released by himself. It was a pretty interesting release on Global, but for Japan, this was one of their anniversary celebrations. I believe this was actually their first anniversary character that had released, and they released this solo character being Trafalgar Law, the first Law legend to release in One Piece Treasure Cruise. So let's go ahead and have a look and see what this Trafalgar Law character actually does. So Trafalgar Law is a Psy Slasher Free Spirit character, and his captain ability would boost the attack of Slasher and Free Spirit characters by two times at the start of the chain you would get a three times boost to those characters after the third perfect in a row and then a four times attack boost to your slasher and free spirit characters following the fifth perfect basically meaning that if you did hit your fifth perfect the last character to attack would have the four times multiplier which four times multiplier was incredibly rare back when this character had released so having access to that in a captain ability was great. I mean, two times attack at the start of the chain is obviously pretty bad. Getting to a three times after three perfects is pretty respectable. That wasn't too bad at all. But the fact that the last character in your chain hit for so hard, like this guy as a captain was incredibly strong. But in terms of his special ability, on release, his special didn't see that much play, and it didn't really help considering he had a just a really, really high cooldown. I mean, 20 turns is a bit ridiculous, but it did make all damage and health cutting specials of all characters bypass all defensive effects, and then also barriers and all defense. Like, it just made any special that you had on your crew would bypass, like, any effect on the enemy, which is pretty awesome but as i said on release this wasn't a very useful special considering there weren't too many instances where you needed specials to bypass defensive effects in the first place we obviously know when he got his super evolution and his limit break his cooldown reduced significantly which made his usability go up and obviously with more defensive effects being introduced into the game a special ability like this was eventually going to be quite useful and then also dealt 50 times his attack inside damage to one enemy which is pretty weak but hey it's a damage dealing special we love to see those but the thing about it was is that his stage one special was kind of nice too because it basically did the same thing but it was only for slasher and free spirit characters on a 13 turn cooldown which is way more respectable and that's something that you could you could definitely use in regular content for sure it did obviously do less damage but obviously him him with his old kit being you know focused around slashes and free spirits made a lot of sense to you know use his stage one special but if you wanted to use his stage two special for all characters you have to stall for a lot longer so that's the breakdown of Trafalgar Lord. Let's go ahead and see what kind of content we're going to be using him in today. All right, so we're back at the spinner wheel today. We've got three Colosseums. We've got Drake, we have Apu, and we have Killer. Very interesting array of Colosseums, and I do believe that Lore should be able to carry us through these particular events. So without further ado, let's go ahead and spin that wheel and see what Lore is going to be challenging today as, as a captain, all right? Let's go ahead and get it. What's it going to be? Wow, okay, I think, honestly, this might be the most difficult one for us to take on with Law as a captain. Colosseum Drake. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. I've already bought the pack. 
Uh, and then once you buy the pack, you get given a mail, which will go ahead and give you access to the free Legend Rare Fruit Pool. So if all you guys out there that are doing this, I wish you guys the best of luck. Let me know in the comment section down below what you got and whether it was new or not. But let's go ahead and get straight into it. As I said, Bato, Law, or Jinbei would be amazing to get. So let's see what we get in this. Let's see what we get. The red! It's a red! Come on, Bato, Jinbei, Law. Yes! No way! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I don't believe it. I actually don't believe it. You're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. Holy crap. Oh my god. That's awesome. His 6 star plus is about to come out uh, in Japan. So hopefully it's really good because... Oh my god, we just pulled law. Yes! Okay, I'll take it, man. And here we are in game now with Trafalgar Law, captain of the Heart Pirates and one of the seven warlords of the sea. Hating to take orders from others, he takes action on his own accord, suggested forming an alliance with the Straw Hat Pirates. So, of course, this is uh, Dressrosa, Doflamingo, Doflamingo, not de definitely not Doflamingo, this is 100% Trafalgar Law. But anyways, we have Trafalgar Law, plus 100 HP, plus 100 attack, max sockets, we don't have damage reduction sockets, and I think damage reduction sockets probably would, would be pretty useful here, but also matching slots, very, very useful too. Um, so, we can see here, the 20 turn cooldown is, is crazy, but at least we have the 13 turn cooldown for stage 1, but either way, let's go ahead and check out the team today. This is the team that we are bringing towards the X Drake event. Now, we are using a character that is slightly ahead in, in the month scheduling in terms of character releases, which is going to be this guy, Borsalino. We are using Borsalino because he can give our slasher characters a guaranteed full board of slots. We've got Doflamingo for an orb boost, we've got Zoro for an attack boost, and then we've also got Ivankov, who is going to be very useful on stage four of this quest versus Gladius. And you guys, when we see we get to it, like that Gladius fight is going to be annoying but also we have the polar tang which is the ship that you get from beating the law training forest now normally you wouldn't really get access to this as soon as law came out this training forest came out a little bit later on if i remember correctly um and it was actually a pretty difficult training forest on release but it's a very good ship for law himself because it boosts slasher and free spirit characters attack by 1.5 1.25 health, perfect so easier to hit, but a very interesting special effect that can only be activated when your health, I believe, is 20 or 10% or below, and it just gives you 10,000 healing. So I think that that ship is going to bid well for this team in this quest. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. And shout out, of course, to my girl Carissa, who has her Trafalgar law up for me, as well as uh, the Lord Shira as well. But of course, we're going to be using my girl Carissa's Trafalgar law, of course, jumping into this versus Drake. Very nervous about this one, but also pretty excited. And here we are, final round versus X Drake. Right, so first thing is first, we need to make sure we get our specials ready. We need to have Ivankov special by the time we reach the stage 4 versus Gladius. That's going to be very important to have that there. So, we want to make sure that we don't take too much damage, but also, we also want to, you know, try and conserve those recovery slots. You can see that Doflamingo is lucky enough to have uh, landed on one of those. So, let's just start things off with a simple bit of damage. And of course, remember, with Trafalgar Law, you want to be aiming to hit as many perfects as you possibly can. So that is going to be the goal here. And when we do our burst turns for sure, definitely not going to be talking. We're going to be focusing up. But luckily, we did get a couple of recovery slots there. That is pretty god darn good. All right. I think we're just going to kill one of these guys here. Nice. Take a bit of damage from this uh, Navy character. And you know what? We're just going to keep passing the turn until we kind of need to move on. And, you know, we've got these recovery slots. And Law's natural recovery is very high. We do have Borsalino on our, on our crew as well, which also has a naturally high recovery. So when we do pick up this recovery slot eventually, it's going to heal us for quite a lot, which is really, really good. Um, but, I mean, this is a good opportunity just to get as much stall as we possibly can. As I said, we want to make sure that Ivankov is ready because um, Stage 4 Gladius, I did mention a bit earlier, but um, Gladius himself is just a pain because he does a lot of ore manipulation uh, for bomb slots and stuff, but he also poisons you as soon as you enter uh, with his preemptive attack. So we needed a character to remove that poison, and luckily Ivankov is going to be one of the best characters to uh, to do that. Got a bit of healing there, but I think actually we might move on after this stage, because we are taking quite a lot of damage at the end of each turn here. So we'll go ahead and consume this other recovery slot from Doflamingo, and then move on. 
to stage two. So we actually got a lot of stall off there on stage one, all things considered. Uh, we definitely want to stall on this elder turtle here, so that's what we're going to do. Definitely kill these females, because these ones, these Psy females, will uh, apply to spare if they attack us, so we don't want to deal with that. And then we've got this uh, other mob at a three-turn cooldown, so we can actually just keep hitting this... Uh, wow, we actually did get another recovery slot. That's very, very lucky. Things are going pretty well so far, I must admit. Let's go ahead and kill this mob now. With uh, the Doflamingo. Doflamingo is going to be quite key. The fact that we have Dofi on our team. Because he's going to be like our main damage dealer versus Gladius. So it's going to be very important that we have you know, his matching slot. Uh, I want to try and conserve that matching slot on Doflamingo. Until we move on to that stage 4. Because turn 1 of Gladius. He actually doesn't do that much really. He, aside from the poison. So we want to make sure on turn 1. We can do as much damage as we possibly can to him. Uh, I think I'm just going to attack with Law here. In terms of stalling, I think we're actually pretty much good. Like, there isn't really much reason for us to stall that much more at this point. So we're just going to go ahead and move on. Get that another recovery slot. And then we're going to move on to stage 3. So, again, at this point, the specials are pretty much ready to go. Don't need to stall at all. And then we want to conserve that deck slot on Doflamingo because Gladius is going to be a pain dude I'm telling you Gladius is going to suck but I'm pretty sure if we're able to make it through to the X Drake stage I think we're going to win it I think we're going to win it that's okay we've got plenty plenty of uh plenty of time here we probably could have just hit it perfect with uh Dofi there to get the kill but at least we can try and get some slots here unfortunately not though not really going our favor but now, we get another opportunity for some more matching slots. And here we go, moving on to stage 4 versus Gladius. Man, this guy's gonna, gonna suck. But either way, let's see what he does. Okay, so, does a bit of damage and inflicts that poison. And that poison, you can see, 890 damage per character. That is a lot. So, luckily for us, we do have the Ivankov special, which will remove that poison, because that poison just does so much damage. Uh, and at least for this first turn, we do get half damage, but I believe he will remove beneficial effects every couple of turns, so there's not really much we can do about that. Luckily, we did get another matching slot on our Trafalgar Law, so we can get a bit more damage there, but let's focus up, hit some perfects, and see how much damage we can do with, with no damage boosting at all. Let's see how much damage we can do. So we really wanted to gain below 50% because the first time he reaches below 50%, he actually does a lot of damage to us. So luckily in this point here, you know, we, we just reduced it by half, which is great. Now in this instance here, I just noticed as well is that our ship special is ready. Is that we can actually use it when we need it. But remember, it only activates if we're at a low HP. So we kind of want to use it, you know, kind of towards we before moving on to uh, to the next stage. But he does remove our beneficial effects, which means that we, we lose that healing, which obviously sucks. That's... That's annoying. Would have been nice to keep that. Uh, the damage reduction is also gone. So we're going to take a lot of damage. But we are inflicted with a full board of bomb slots. So there's not much we can do, really do about that. And we don't want to get him below 20%. 20 under 20%, we, we just lose the run. But also, we want to make sure that we can actually like move on to that next stage, right? But another thing as well is that X Drake, the final boss X Drake, when you kill him... He does end of turn damage, so we really, really have to be careful in terms of how much health that we have, okay? So basically, if we fall below 10,000 HP, we kind of just have to wait until we can use the ship special to get us through, and that's my ideology. I think it kind of makes sense, right? Uh, we do have the... We do have the, the Borsalino, but we definitely want to save that for the last stage to ensure that we get as much damage as possible. So, we're just going to take this time to get rid of these slots. And as I said, I don't want to get him below 20%. It would be really good if we can get a matching slot on Doflamingo. I'd just move on right now. Unfortunately, we didn't. We did get a recovery slot, though. I'd love to see that. So, let's just do this. Let's just take our time. Take our time. Okay. So, he is going to go ahead and shuffle our slots again, which is pretty bad. Okay. Let's pass the turn again, and if we get a matching slot on... Actually, you know, how much damage are we going to take here? Okay, we can move on. No matching... Oh, dude, a strength slot. That's actually the worst case scenario, dude. Uh, he is going to shuffle our slots again in this next turn, so I'm just going to pass. But he's so close to that 20% marker, dude. It's so close. 
All right, so he's going to go ahead and do the orb shuffle again. So we do get a full board of bomb slots, but I feel like if we just do naturally just damage here, I think we'll be okay. The only other problem is, is the fact that our health is a pretty big issue. We want to, because if we, if we kill Drake in the next stage, I think he does around 10,000 damage. Like we'll, we'll literally just lose. So that's a problem. So let's just pass with the Zora. It doesn't really matter. Even though passing with Doflamingo is good, the problem is, is I don't want to, like, get in below 20%. Can we use the ship We can't even use the ship special yet. Oh, my God. This is so triggering. Okay, don't get in below 20%. Now we should be able to use the ship special, which is going to heal us over 10,000. And now we can go ahead and do the kill. But we do have bomb slots, which are treated as just neutral slots, by the way. They are not counted as non-beneficial slots, which is definitely, you know, in our favor right now. If bomb slots were counted as badly matching, then that would suck big time. So at this point here, we're just going to hit our perfects and hopefully it's enough damage to kill him here, which I believe it will. But let's go ahead and do it. Let's get it. Beautiful, let's go! We're moving on to the last stage. That is massive. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, we probably could have used a law special just to, you know, hope that it would give us a bit of extra damage there. And also, uh, I forgot about Borsalino. Borsalino actually recovers a large amount of HP. Well, not a large amount, but he recovers like 10 times his recovery, his HP. So that's actually very, very beneficial to us. But uh, in this instance here, we are just going to launch literally everything. Let's start with the Trafalgar law special abilities. This special ability is actually really good considering how old this character is i think it's a pretty pretty cool special ability so we get eighty-five thousand damage dealt there we'll go ahead and use the carissa uh trafalgar law friend captain special again we want to just do as much damage as we possibly can here another bit of damage let's use the zora special ability which is going to go ahead and uh do a bit of damage it gives him a guaranteed strength slot but more importantly giving us the 1.75 times attack boost and then use the doflamingo special ability which is going to go ahead and give us the two times orb boost and of course we're going to use the borsalino special ability which will not only do some pretty decent damage but also heal us and also give our slasher and our free spirit characters no just our slasher characters slasher and shooter characters more importantly for uh, for borsalino a full board of matching slots and uh you know of course we don't have type advantage here but i have faith that that's going to be enough damage to get us through and there's only one way to find out if that's going to be enough all right who has more attack power uh it looks like borsalino actually does but I'm gonna I'm gonna attack last with lore anyway. Let's do it. Let's get it. Whew. Let's go! We got it! We got it! Drake is down and we have like nearly 20,000 HP at the moment. So Drake's gonna launch his special. We should tank it. And we do. And we get the dub. So there we go. Legend Lore. Getting the job done versus Coliseum X Drake. You absolutely love to see it. And that is going to wrap up yet another episode of the Legends of OPTC series. And in the next episode, funnily enough, is going to be the character that we also kind of showcased in this video, which is going to be Borsalino. So technically speaking, we weren't too far off in terms of using Borsalino in this video today, which is actually awesome to see. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video